format, as you guys all know, we'll open it up uh, to questions right after opening statements from Coach and Chris. Uh, so, Coach, if you want to go ahead, Chris, follow, and then we'll have about 10 minutes for questions from the media. Yeah, well, first of all, uh, thank you for all of you guys to be here. It was nice to win our first game sa, sa Bansa. Nakataba ng puso yun. Uh, you know, we... we we play with a lot of pride. I, I don't think we played our best game, but we did enough to manage a lead. Um, some things to be happy about. I think the assist to turnover ratio, 23 to 10, right? Our activity was there, still 6 to 3. Um, and it was nice to see some of our guys blend in with some of our local groups. So see Ange uh, and DJ, right? So you add those guys to the mix with these guys. They started and got their groove. I thought the second half was better in terms of attention to details and depends on. Yeah, for, uh, again, it's, it's always an honor to play uh, the, the game of basketball and, and to do it on, on our home turf. You know, it's a, it's a blessing and uh, it's an honor and to, to be able to represent all the, all the Filipino people out there. Uh, we know how passionate they are about the game of basketball and to, to bring this level of competition to them and to get a, our, our first win on our home court. Uh, I think that means a lot to us and, and to the Filipino people. Um, you know, for us, it's been a, a long last few weeks. Uh, you know, we, we've been in playoff mode, so I think you saw a little bit of that tonight. Uh, us coming straight from the playoffs, you know, we already have that playoff mentality, and, and we were able to bring that to the game tonight against a team that hasn't really uh, been together that long, but they still came out and competed, and I think that's that's uh, really important that they showed that that heart and that, that uh, willingness to compete um, and you know they're they're here to bring the best out of us and I think that's what this league is all about um, and I'm excited to, to move forward and get to our next game and uh, you know it's going to be a tough road ahead but it's nice to go ahead and match our wins to win total from last year and uh, we got five games to try to get ourselves a, a top two seed. In, in this group and, and get into the semifinals, but of course we got to take it one game at a time. Hey guys, Coach, how for the, most of the guys, I would ask them uh, what how motivate how motivated are they coming from that. Uh, the quarterfinal series against Sinatra going in here to this uh, game? Yeah, it, that one was tough. You know, you look at it, three games, you know, we're very disappointed with that. Again, game one, two possessions. Game two, one possession with a foul to give. We were telling guys to, to do certain things, but, you know, we needed them to zone in game three. In game three, I thought we did good for three quarters. Uh, so, coming into today's game, very, very hard in terms of getting our flow, but you can't really prepare for Macau dahil wala silang games. They have a new, completely new staff. So I think today was more about ourselves uh, in terms of what we've been running, right? And, you know, like Nu said, you give Macau credit because I think they've, you know, in fairness sa kanila, they've only practiced a week. You know, they, they have some weapons. I, I don't think you look at their team where they're really, they have depth, but about six, seven good guys there. So... I'm sure they'll get better, right? But at least we got one here in our home turf. We respect this league. We're very proud to be in it. I think the advantage we have is we already played last year, right? And now with the import situation of other countries, our next two games are going to be very important because if you want to make the playoffs, you have to get at least four wins, right? I think we, we're confident that we should... Uh, focus when we're here and take care of business here, but those two games, we have to show that we can win on their home court. Uh, Nu hit that game winners uh, against Ryukyu, the home base natin was Macau, and we have a lot of fans there, right? So now the, man, the challenge for these guys is how do we manage, you know, we're not in the PBA, we'll have four days off when we come back, getting in shape, getting our legs, getting guys in their flow, and then how do we tackle Ryukyu? I think October 16, and then November 13, Aman will will go to Korea. So those two games, we have to target to get at least one of those two. Hi, you. Congratulations to you and the Bulls. Uh, Chris, earlier we talked to the Macau head coach, and he said uh, that you were quote unquote all over their scouting report. So can you just tell me um, 
your thoughts on being focused on like that by this squad, you know, when you become their focal point on defense, can you just tell me, did you feel that? Did you feel them going hard on you and, and them being intense on defense against you? Uh, I think it's, it is a, an honor to have that type of respect uh, that I am a, a priority to some, but at the same time, I do get a lot of practice with that being here in the PBA. Uh, a lot of teams do focus on me as, as one of the main guys, especially in all Filipino conference. I understand that a lot of defensive schemes are, are geared to make it difficult for me. And so as a professional, it's, it's up to me to find out what the scouting report is on me and work on the things that I need to work on in order for me to counter their scouting report. Uh, but a lot of that also has to do with your, my teammates as well. Uh, whenever my teammates are hitting shots and my teammates are, are uh, you know, getting good looks and, and they're aggressive, then that has the ability to make other teams have to focus on them as well. And then from that point on, we no longer become a one-dimensional team or a one-guy team, and we become an actual basketball team where, uh, as you see tonight, we have multiple guys in double figures. And so when we get the ball moving and, and other guys get going, that makes my job a lot easier, and I can just focus on what I need to do, uh, whether that's hitting shots or, or setting up people. But even then, scoring is not my, uh, my focus whenever it comes to playing basketball for those that know the type of player that I am. Um, I'm not really a scorer in, 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 the say, uh, in the sense that I have to put up uh, 20 points a game. You know, I'm, I'm perfectly okay with scoring five points, uh, playing hard-nosed defense, doing the, the dirty work, uh, getting some steals and, and getting assists. And, and for me, all that matters is getting the win. So uh, again, it's a credit to my teammates, to my, my team, the organization for, for believing in me and uh, allowing me to, to play my game. And uh, again, it's just an honor to have that type of respect from opponents and other teams. Thank you. Uh, this question is for Coach Luigi as well as for Nu. In past um, participation of PBA teams in the ESL, there seems to be uh, like a disconnect with the second import, lack of cohesion, lack of um, chemistry. But it seems like with you, with EJ Kennedy, it seems like uh, he has adjusted well to the team, has chemistry with the teams, with the players. Uh, just your thoughts about that. Yeah, I can only speak for Meralco, right? We normally, the two finalists go, and I think that was supposed to be in Ebra last year. So we were thrown into the Lions then with about maybe 10 days uh, notice, right? And the disadvantage we had was Sue Brian Moore was our import at the time. And obviously his visa, his visa, he only had a single entry for work permit. So that put us back, right? Not only we, are we a neophyte there, uh, getting two guys to play. And I think the PBA also works hand in hand with the ESL that now they're realizing that uh, we're being told early. So now we have an opportunity to bring in an import earlier. We have more experience with that. I think as the league, as ESL grows, uh, PBA and ESA probably will work together. Uh, PBA will probably find ways to give us notice. I, there was talk last, last a couple of months ago that there would be two imports this coming conference. And I think that's good. I think if you look at Japan, you look at Taiwan, it's it's becoming a global stage now. And you look at why all of a sudden in the basketball scene they're up because they're open-minded to getting more imports, right? So I know it was there and uh, they were gonna make it two. I think there might be one lang, but uh, for for us to be successful in ESL, they have probably that that might be an option for them to look. And uh, if I may, this year we're better because we know a little bit of the ESL already. We played Ryukyu, right? Um, DJ coming in early, uh, you know, he was he struggled tonight. I don't think, you know, we were up 19. We could have kept on and focused and built the lead up, but we were not there. He was, he didn't shoot the ball well. He was 6 of 24. He was 0 of 6 from the 3, so he's not at his best. But... Yung maganda kay DJ, I think you pointed out, he's a little bit like Brownlee in the sense he's, he plays a little bit like New, where he makes the right decision all the time. He plays both ends of the floor. Uh, DJ, you can put him one to four, just like New, so you have points of attack, right? Um, I'm looking forward to Elaine, Maliksi coming back, or CJ, because we need floor spacers as well. So sana we'll get healthy. In the, in the series, you know, you look at 
the Hinebra series where they were small, we needed our guards and we had three guards injured, Black, Cancino, and Maliksi, right? So just like the ESL, I hope these guys can get healthy. We have time. Uh, we'd like to bring a healthy team. Uh, we know last year we weren't complete, so you're playing the best of Asia, right? So we hopefully this time will, as the games get closer, makakabalik sila. Coach, good evening and congratulations. Coach, um, okay, out na kayo sa Governor's Cup and I think the Commissioner's Cup would be probably late November, early December. Your opponents are will be playing both ESL and their domestic leagues and, and you, you will have probably practices and tune up. So how will you deal with that playing ESL without a, a domestic league in terms of your form? Yeah, well, we, we train hard. I mean, I think the advantage we have is we're the best conditioned team, if I may say, to the point that, you know, we, we go at it in practice. And I think that's what led us to our championship last year. When we came to push and shove with other teams, we could we could adjust. We could run. We could set it up. Um, I think the second conference is November 28th. Our, our games are October 16th, November 13th. So we will be ready. But... You know, all these countries, there, all these teams have games there. So we're not in a disadvantage here. You know, we have to manage it. Uh, and we welcome that. You know, we love being a part of this ESL family, right? So told the kid, told the guys also, we never know when you'll be back. Because next year, dalawa lang yung mukunin, yung finalists ulit. So we have to earn that right again. But we feel, we feel good with the guys we have. We know we didn't play well here. We were down, nine, we were up 19 for the capitalize on that. We had, you know, careless possessions. Uh, sometimes you have to manage the game and then you're up in terms of what you're running for. Uh, and there, there are things to be improved there. AD and DJ were 1 out of 11, right? So we know they can shoot the ball better, get in shape. So, and you know, if I make Angel's a big revelation. Almazan played 10 minutes, Brandon played 4 minutes. But Ange, 17 minutes, he was a plus 24. So, alam naman natin yung kakayaan ni Ange sa UAP. So, hopefully, he can help us there. I'll keep the floor open for three final questions. Hi, Coach. Uh, this is Nilo from BasketballNews.com. Uh, congratulations on the win. So, uh, the Black Bears, uh, they had two Giants in their front court. So, yet your team still dominated the boards. Uh, out rebounding, out rebounding them, 54 to 43. So, what was the adjustment did you make to control the glass so effectively? Yeah. Well, when you're when you're bodying up against a seven footer, the other guys have to get get the rebounds, right? But what was good was, you know, it's just not one on one defense. It's five guys defending, right? But we we realized that you put a body on him, the other guys have to get the rebound, right? And we were able to push. We, honestly, I could see that you have five, seven days. They're not at 100% shape, right? Uh, that zone gave us fits in the second quarter, right? When you're able to stabilize in the long malaki nila. But once you get some good defensive possessions and you're able to run back, they can't, they can't settle, right? And I think in this type of setting, AD will be okay. The last, the last series. They had quicker guys, right? So 80s in the element facing bigger guys, right? And, you know, Brandon will do his part, Raymond will do his part, Ange will do his part. But I think moving moving forward, uh, you know, you look at Taipei, they're, they're guard heavy. They have bigs who play like guards. So each team has a different, you know, Ryukyu has a, two tough bigs. So each, each one has. But the nice thing we have now, we're more balanced as a team. Salamat. Good evening, Coach and New. Um, New, you said earlier that um, the team is still in playoff mode. And with the team's exit from the uh, PBA playoffs, did you guys uh, see this game as an opportunity to maybe get your composure back and maybe even let your frustrations out? And if so, do you think that you were able to achieve that? Yeah, definitely. I um, mean, no team likes losing. Uh, and, and of course, especially when it comes to the playoffs and we're coming off our first championship, uh, we wanted to hold on to that as long as possible and to try to stay in form as long as possible. But, uh, you know, playing in that series against Hanebra, it, it was definitely a, a reality check again. 
uh, brought us back down to earth and uh, it, it was a sign that after a championship you have to regain that hunger again to try to get another one because there's other teams out there that are trying to take it from you. And uh, so again, that was a, a gut check for us. And for us to have another opportunity, it's something that I told the guys that this is a blessing for us uh, to be able to actually lose in the playoffs and to still have another chance to play in another league and, and to continue playing. For uh, the other teams that are out of the playoffs, they're on vacation already. Whereas we still get to go to work and we still get to compete. And that's, at the end of the day, that's our job as a basketball player. So it's an honor that we actually get to be a part of this. And yes, we did earn it. Uh, and, and for us to be able to to bounce back, uh, not even three days later, two days, we were talking about two days later, and we, we get to have the opportunity to bounce back from that, that uh, semifinal, or sorry, that quarterfinals uh, loss. So it was definitely something that, that we needed as an organization, as a team. Uh, for us to, to kind of find our rhythm again and, and to kind of have that fresh start. Uh, but yeah, we were definitely able to get that win that we needed after losing three straight. And I think that can do a lot for your confidence as a team and as an organization. Thank you. Thank you. Coach, Coach regarding that as well, because, yeah, after, since you're now done with Ginev, uh, you think it also factored that you're only, you're now only focused on the EAS, unlike San Miguel, that they still have current to think about from yeah, well, we just told the guys, we have a lot, like, news said it all, right? Like, uh, the opportunities there, you know, gratitude na nan dun kami. But we have a lot of responsibility then, right? Like, just to back up Coach Nenad after the exercise, I was, I said, dala natin yung bandila, we carry the flag, right? These are the best clubs in Asia, so we have a responsibility not only to our families, not only to Miralco, but we're carrying the PBA's name, we're carrying... Philippines name, right? And uh, it's it's a pride thing that we want to be the best in Asia. Right? So I, we, I, I believe in our guys. We've we got good character all around. We have new weapons in. Um, we, we really feel that we can win. And, and we need to all take maybe four or five days, but when we come back, get back into it. But to your point, yeah, I think now we can kind of zone in in this next two, two games, right? So... You've got time. Right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.